guys, you know, you can see the building plan in the starter software. So you open our starter software. So we can close this. So we we'll open our starter software. So we we'll go to new project, click on space, give the name as building planner. Okay, and finish. So, uh, wait for the loading of the start board. So, now the uh, uh, top option you can see the building plan. So, here we have the building plan. So, we have to click on this. <coughs> so, we have to give all project details. As I'm giving this building. And the client name is name and the engineer also and the engineer so we have to give how many number of how many number of levels we want so we have to give it so we have to give how much level we want so the foundation depth we have to include the foundation depth so we are taking the number of levels as 7, the foundation is as 2 meters, create project. So here we have to select as a GR. And now this take as ground and each floor height is 3 meters. Now, we have to take this so we go on in default values we have to take this to select this or you can also you can deselect that if we don't want to create that so create this one create that the default will not take two ways now so default values to call OK. So this is the slab. So after that we can go to column form. So can, we can create column or we can add as auto column column. So we we'll select auto column column so here. Columns has been. So we can click on this and right click go to property. And we can change the dimension. 0 0.3 and OK. So again, same library, click on this, go to property. You can change this one and change this one. So this is 0 0.3 and OK. Click on this property. Click on this 0 0.3 and OK. And this also change the properties. Now, each column. So I just this into copy paste. So we have this place here. So we can ask for the distance. So we have to prefer a distance. How much distance you want from this? So click on OK. So we are placing at the same distance. So now we have to select this at a column. We have to select this one for the dragon. So now we have to assign this column also. Properties. You can also 
chain this one. Three. Okay. Chain this property also. Two. Zero point three. Okay. So after editing all of our slab one and slab two, so we have to go to G here. So here we can take it as we double click on it to appear as so again we copy this one and paste here okay so we need to create this first so we have to return to the same values So you can see we have all columns in this one as well as one. So you can add columns by pressing here. So then here. So we can open it from here. So here is the two. Okay. So here. So two is the three. One. Okay. So we will see this. So we have to save this file so that it won't get deleted. So then we will copy this one and paste here. And okay. So we have to copy this slab and we will paste here. On this, copy and paste here. Okay. So we need to find this. It will show our building planning. So again, we have to add columns. Press here. Give the size as 0.3. Enter. Here also. Give it as 0.3. Here also, we have to add the column 0 0.3 enter. Add here 0 0.3. So here, give me column 0 0.3. Okay. So we have different all the columns here. So after that, So you can paste here, so you can also select the column. So you copy that and you can paste this anywhere you want. So I'm selecting this here. We have select the distance. Okay, so we have to here to distance of four meters. Okay. So we can see our building plan. So again, selecting this one. Copy. Paste here a distance of three meters. Select this, copy, paste, distance of 6 meters. And we will select this one so it will show all our plans. So we have to select the this is a so it has come here to make this one. Yes. 
this one. So I'll get this paste anywhere. This one, copy, and paste here. Just the coordinate is not here. So we have a coordinates. So it's automatically. And this file. Actually, that's more than here. So we will go to the slab we have to. The regular slab. So create your slab with regular. I'm going to do it with you. We have created all our irregular slab. So this is our slab created. So we have given thickness plus one to five. The remaining values will be same. So click on OK. So the slab is created. How we can design the different type of slab here? The regular slab. So we have to save this. So like that we can do the number of slabs we can design. Now if we regular ones also we can create the slabs here. So here we have created everything. So we can add the beams also. So this is how we can design a slab and this is the design in style probe.